Welcome everybody, welcome to Pulling Across for the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ, Marky Mark with the scarf over there, and we got our special guest, Matthew Daves, six, five and a half, six, six with shoes, well, like a foot taller than me, basically. <laughs> He's here in the studio. We're going to get to talk to him. But before we start, make sure you follow our social media. We're at Pinoy Crossover FTV. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So our special, you know, our first segment is going to be the game, the 1v1 that Marky Mark created, which is Pinoy Crossover Showdown, which we'll be, we will be seeing who has the better answer, Matthew Daves or me. So let's go to the game floor. Stay tuned. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover Showdown. It's your boy Marky Mark, your host today. And we got here on the left corner, PJ with look, the muscle. Look at these pipes, been working on On the right side, <laughs> we got Matthew representing all the tall Filipinos in the world. <laughs> the tall. <laughs> How many tall Filipinos are there? Not that many, but there's many of PJ. Yes. Not of my people. <laughs> <laughs> Small man like me. Let's get it All on. Right. The way we play this, yeah. very easy. I'm going to give these guys questions mm. and choices. Then I'm going to count three, two, one, and they have to give me your answer right away. I'm going to choose what side would like to start and they're going to show their points, support why they chose that option. Mm -hmm. And these are all NBA topics that you guys know. And I'm going to choose who wins it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah Gloves are on? Ready to, ready to uh, timber this big man. All right, <laughs> let's go with the first question. This is nice and tasty. Okay. Tasty? Is... What do you say? Let me finish. <laughs> I'm going to give you a tech, okay? I got, I got the whistle. Who was, better who was the better acquisition this season? Mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving or Chris Paul? Three, two, one. Chris Paul. Curry. Still is Curry's side. <laughs> Let's start with you, since you got it first. Watch Chris Paul. Confident. Chris Paul's, every time he's on the court, undefeated. Undefeated when Chris Paul is on the court. Man, it's fun watching Chris Paul. He's putting a lot of pressure off of James Harden. Houston is up there for one of the for one of the, yeah, know, the top best teams. They're the best record in the other in the Western in the conference. Plus he can play defense. He's a good package, compliments Houston Rockets game. D'Antoni's having no problem. The chemistry's amazing. He's just the better acquisition. And Kyrie, I don't know if Kyrie's the better acquisition. He his defense troubles aren't doing so well for Boston. I think they lost a couple of uh, in the last game or something like that. So I don't think Kyrie's that good compared to Chris Paul being on the tear with the Houston Rockets and the chemistry's heating up. Rockets. Mm. How about you? Why Kyrie? Off. Well, let me just say that Chris Paul was added to an already solid Whoa. team. <laughs> solid team. So Kyrie came in and before they were led by Isaiah, obviously they switched roles. And when Gordon Hayward was supposed to be a really big part and he got hurt, obviously we all seen the devastating injury. Mm -hmm. But Kyrie stepped up and that's why I feel like he's leading the team very well and that he's a better leader than, than Chris Paul is right now, Whoa. to be honest. Okay, yeah, you got me there. And he's, he's helping the team gel. You see all these highlights on social media every once in a while. You see their ball movements better. And like they're they're just playing a really good game. They're playing solid. Hmm. All right. Last question. Well, you're not gonna choose who won. I'm gonna choose the the winner of both, based on your answers. Okay. Got it. The next one. This is gonna be nice. This is to, you know, give give some homage to the legend. Who is gonna be the next Kobe Bryant right now mm -hmm. of all the current players in the NBA? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. West Devin Brooke. Booker. Ooh. Why Devin Booker? Well, Devin Booker, is, he's young, obviously, so I'm not saying he's Kobe Bryant right now, but I think he has the time to and the ethics to grow into being the next, the next Kobe. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's, he came into the league and he was already, he's already there. He's already established his presence on the Suns. He's their go-to guy. He's had big games, 30-point games, 40-point games, 20-point games, and obviously he had the 71-point game that Pretty close to Kobe, if mm -hmm. I say so myself. That's and, a good point. Yeah. I'll say Westbrook, because when you think of when you think of Kobe, you think of you know Kobe's system. You think of someone that <laughs> breaks barriers. You think of someone who's athletic. When I think of Kobe, I think of an Afro. I think of his playing years. I think of posters. I think of Westbrook. Westbrook's emo like he's so much emotion. He doesn't give he doesn't give up. 
Kobe about anyone who's play anyone he's playing. He doesn't have friends when he's on the court. So much emotion. Very athletic. Um, mach like machine, not machine. What is that? Beast when he's on the court. Yeah. When you think of Kobe, he's a beast. I, two jerseys, five jerseys. <laughs> you retire five of his jerseys. No, I'm not talking about retirement. He, he rips jerseys apart. Oh my <laughs> he's God. a beast. He's, a, he's yeah. a slamming on people. I, I feel like Booker's a good uh, Booker's a good good answer, but I don't think Booker's as athletic, as killer mentality as a Westbrook. If I were to put Westbrook and Booker a one on one match, if I were to see them face each other, all, everyone has that would say they'd want to watch Westbrook play. They'd want to watch Westbrook go to work. I don't, I don't, I don't want to watch Booker shoot. I don't want to watch Booker shoot. Come on, Kobe's a defensive menace. He can play both ends of the court. Westbrook's also uh, both ends of the court man. So I feel like Westbrook is the man, is the beast. Give him five jerseys to rip. That's it. That's the game. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna give the first the first uh, argument. I'm gonna give it to him because I'm gonna give it to Matthew. Yeah. Davis, right. I know Chris Paul's been good, everything, but Kyrie's been there since the beginning. Never missed mm. the game as much That's as true. CP3. Yeah, yeah. You can't so leave the from the bench, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he was well, I'm going to give a little bit of points to Chris Paul too because when Chris Paul was away, they were losing games. But when he came in, they had the 14 yeah. game winning streak, which ended because Chris Paul suffered an injury. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give that to you because of the fact that Kyrie really stepped up and he's in the top of the MVP ladder, mm. closer than CP3 is. Yeah. But I'm going to give the next one to PJ because of the fact that Kobe, Kobe has that killer mentality. Yeah. I know. Devin Booker has has the scoring, you know, the scoring kind of prowess that Kobe 71. had. But 71. the Mamba, you know, what Kobe was known for was this killer Mamba mentality. And I think Westbrook is the only one that has it. The only thing I give points away from PJ was the rip jerk. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. I never I seen Kobe rip the jersey. <laughs> well, the only jersey that's getting ripped now is the Nike one. That's a rip jersey. It wasn't ripped, he just moved it when he hit the game winner. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So we got a little bit of a tie. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. But everyone's a winner in Pinar Cross of a Showdown.